Imagine huddling together with tired, friendly hikers over a steaming dinner inside of a rustic shelter standing stalwart amidst miles of harsh mountain weather. Yamangoya, Japanese mountain huts, are a special experience. One fateful Christmas Eve, I hiked my way up the towering ridges of the Tanzawa Range to find it covered in snow. But the chilly whitescape would only provide contrast for the warmth of the night I spent within the wooden walls of Sonbutsu Sanso. A night I would not soon forget. Like with most of my hikes here, my day began early in the morning aboard a crowded train. After a fairly substantial bit of travel, I alighted at a sunny bus stop in Kanagawa, near the foot of the great Tanzawa Mountains, which even from here, I could see were crowned in white. Following a lovely stroll through the peaceful countryside, I was soon upon the trailhead. This was my second time at Tanzawa, and while I previously headed straight for Mount Hirugatake, this time I would explore a detour towards Mount Nabewadi before rejoining the main trail to Mount Tonodake and spending the night in the mountain hut there. Early the next morning, I would plow on and back the summit of Mount Tanzawa before heading all the way back down to the bus stop. Okay, trail has been relatively flat so far. I wouldn't really expect that to continue though. <sighs> I've been seeing these little streams of water all over the place on the trail, by the trail, intersecting the trail. I'm wondering if it might be snow melting from the high altitudes. The trail remained relatively friendly, with lots more water to be found, as I hiked further and further upstream. Then, Almost abruptly, the path turns steeply uphill. The landscape, too, began to change, becoming sparser and rockier, and I soon felt that rush of familiarity, the feeling of climbing a mountain. 
The snowy slopes that had been so impossibly far now seemed at eye level. I now stood on the shoulder of a giant. Snow had been gradually creeping upon my surroundings. I was soon everywhere, crunching underfoot. Someone left these little snowmans. After a long morning of hiking through seemingly two different worlds, I finally arrive at my first destination, the summit of Mount Nabiwali. Unfortunately, the famed overlook here seems shrouded in fog as I began to boil some water for lunch in the cold. Surprisingly, as I ate some much-needed sustenance, the clouds began to part. Civilization materialized below, all the way to the coastline. Even the Izu Peninsula was visible at the horizon. After a breathtaking lunch, I set out once more upon my journey. There was this couple who was resting at the side of the trail earlier, and they gave me this. Some marshmallows and chocolate I think and told me happy Christmas which was very nice actually <laughs> So that is Tōnōdake, which is where I'm spending the night. Here we go, final push. That sight for sore eyes. I rested gratefully in the warm interior of Sonbutsu Sanso, a mountain hut on the summit of Mount Tonodake, but I wasn't yet ready to tuck in for the day. Water is a scarce commodity in the Tanzawa range, and even the mountain huts have no water sources so it is essential to have a plan for water when hiking these mountains. Mine was to do a short but steep further hike to a nearby watering hole to refill. To my surprise, I was dissuaded by the owner of the hut. 
but he was telling me that it's quite dangerous today because of the snow. So he gave me a large bottle of water for free. And that stuff usually costs a bomb because water is scarce up here. So very thankful for that. Very kind of him. <laughs> For hikers tackling longer trails, the mountain huts of Tanzawa provide warmth, shelter, and communal bedding for the night, and optionally, even warm meals. There's something very special about the experience of meeting at the hut as strangers and then breaking the ice over hot food with darkness and snow just a thin wall away. Night fell, but one mustn't go to sleep without first venturing outside to witness the little something that Sonbutsu Sanso is famous for. In fact, it's kind of foggy outside. It's time for breakfast. A simple but satisfying breakfast of warm oden. We enjoyed the calories and hot liquids, knowing that we will soon need them to brave the outdoors. A freezing fog hung over the world outside. It was a forbidding, white Christmas morning. It soon became clear the weather wasn't going to clear up. And after wishing my new friends at the hut Merry Christmas, I prepared to set off for the morning's hike. The weather was harsh, but not to the point of danger. While this part of the trail is normally known for stunning, wide views, this morning was different. Waiting beyond the veil of mist was an unthinkable world of white.
Everything was blanketed in snow and ice, including a rest area. Well, there's no resting in that spot, that's for sure. <sighs> My face was numb and my shoes caked in snow, but I forged on, knowing I was near my goal. The summit of Mount Tanzawa, the furthest point of the hike this time round. The fog clung to the place, hiding the distant panorama and making it seem almost like the very edge of the world. Another mountain hut stood here, and the sight of it took me back to another time when I was here in clearer weather. How different does it look today? relentless at several points in the journey back. And yet despite it all, there were signs that the day was in fact gradually beginning to warm. Now on the return journey, I made one final stop at Sombutsu Sanso, ordering myself some piping hot amazake with a complimentary snack thrown in by the friendly staff. I rested thankfully in the shelter, thinking back on the adventure, which was by now almost over. Snow gradually turned into earth beneath my feet, and I could feel heat gathering in my back from the hike. The strange realm of frigid white from this morning now seen but a dream.
me try to break this down for you. So after two days sweating on a freezing mountain, on a bunch of freezing mountains, I just took a very leisurely long bath and then admired those same mountains while sitting in a pool of hot water that sprang from those same mountains. You know how could that feel, son? And now this huge meal before me, you don't know how good that feels because there is no word to describe how, that, how good that feels, man. Ah, ah yeah. 